Ski boots. How the heck are these things supposed to fit? The end goal as far as fit goes with any boot is the same for every person. We're looking for consistent, uniform pressure while keeping your heels in place. When we do custom boot work on existing boots, that's really what we're trying to accomplish. Consistent, uniform pressure, heels are in place. When you pick an initial boot that's closer to that, we need to do way less work on your boots. And that's an okay thing. Now, that feeling is totally relative. Let's say that we have two skiers, same measurements, length, width, ankle mobility. They can have different priorities and sensitivities. Those measurements being the same does not mean that they're going to end up in the same pair of boots. So, how does a boot fit start? I guess I should say, how should it start? Well, we need to talk. We need to talk about your skiing history or lack thereof. Maybe you've never skied before. What hurts in ski boots that you've used before or maybe any activity when you're at the gym, hiking, walking around, living, watching TV, who knows? Um, old boots, if you have those, bring them into the boot fit. If you can't, take a picture of them. If you know what you've rented before, all of those details are so helpful in a boot fitter piecing together this whole puzzle that is going to help us accomplish your boots feeling consistent and uniform throughout. Here in Boston, we fit a lot of boots and every skier ability from first timer to former US ski team, professional athletes and other sports, and of course, everything in between. One of the biggest mistakes made by boot fitters is making assumptions about the person that they're fitting for boots. That's why we need to talk about your needs, wants, and priorities during the entire boot fitting process. Now, some people say stuff, you know, they're nervous while they're getting boot fit, um, and maybe they're a little more braggadocious than they should be, or they're way too modest. So that's why every single boot fit that we do, the first boot that we're bringing out for you is going off just measurements of your feet. We need to get a good baseline. And I'm going to learn a ton about how that first boot is working based on your reaction and how that lines up with the story that you just told me. Now, for a super duper aggressive skier, they're going to think that boot is too roomy, right off the jump, even before they've flexed into it and got their heel back in the pocket. But it's more important that I learn that instead of making that assumption about you. On the flip side, a skier getting their first pair of boots, especially if they're coming out of rentals, they're going to think that their boots are way too tight when they first put them on. They're still probably going to think that they're too tight even after they've flexed into them. Now, to be honest with you, that's not exclusive just to skiers that are getting their first pair of boots for people coming out of rentals. There are plenty of skiers that have been skiing in boots that have been way too big for their entire ski career. 10, 15, 20 years, who knows? They don't know what it feels like to be in the correct size. Now, where people end up going wrong with their ski boots is they get hyper-focused on one aspect of the fit, whether that be the toes, the width, the top of their foot, ankle bones, is their heel absolutely locked in, and does this fit well on my calves? You need to think about the entire fit from foot to leg. Does this feel consistent, uniform, and heel secure? I know that I sound like a broken record, but that's why you're watching this video. That is what you need to focus on. Now, skis do, ski boots do break down performance-wise. So skiers that are getting a uh, new pair of boots every year because they want to have that top-notch performance are going through the boot fitting process a little more often. And they're a little more in tune with how their feet feel and what can be manipulated, especially if you fit boots like me. Um, now, on every pair of boots I have, I have to stretch the navicular on both boots and the pinky toe on just my right. Mid-volume boots are a little too Spacious, LVs are perfect if I do a little bit of work. The key to getting in good boots is to work with someone that is going to listen to your wants 
needs, priorities, and manage your expectations for what can be manipulated to the ski boots and how they're going to change over time. Boots do break in, they only get more spacious. Now for some, their priorities are just being warm and comfortable. For others, it's purely performance-based. Regardless, nobody wants their feet to hurt. There is performance in being comfortable. If your feet are killing you, it's really hard to focus on anything else. If you focus on a consistent and secure fit, which is relative, you're heading in the right direction. This is easy to accomplish with a good boot fitter and a great boot selection. Not just a shop that has a few brands. Now, we didn't touch on footbeds. The stock footbeds in any ski boot aren't anything to write home about. Adding a trim to fit, or even better, a custom footbed is gonna be really beneficial to fit and performance. Are they a magic bullet that's gonna solve all your fit problems? Absolutely not. Are you gonna benefit? Yes. For a deeper dive on everything ski boots, check out our blog post on the Ski Monster. If you're in the market for new boots, book an appointment with us here in Boston with myself or one of the boot fitters here. We're happy to get you dialed in.